to our video about central pontine myelinolysis. This is an important topic that every physician needs to be aware of. So let's get started. Central means the central part, and pontines means the pons, and myelinolysis means destruction of myelin. So central pontine myelinolysis is a neurological disorder that most commonly results from the too rapid correction of hyponatremia. And hyponatremia means low serum sodium. It's characterized by the demyelination, which means the destruction of the myelin sheath surrounding the nerve cells of the central part of the pons. And that's why it's called central pontine. The rapid rise in serum sodium following the correction results in water moving out of the cell, and this leads to their dryness and destruction of myelin. Usually the water follows the higher osmolarity. So when we correct the serum sodium into a higher osmolarity, the water follows that osmolarity, and that leads to dryness of the cell and destruction of myelin. The normal physiology of brain cells is that they adjust their osmolarity based on the serum osmolarity. So when the serum osmolarity drops, like in cases of hyponatremia, the brain cells adjust that by pumping osmolar substances like glutamine, inositol, out of the cell in order to prevent the water accumulation inside the cell. Because if the cells doesn't do that, the water will keep coming into the cell, and this leads to cell swelling, which can cause cerebral edema. The reverse happens in hypernatremia. The cells increases their osmolarity in order to prevent dryness. Both processes actually requires time to be completed, and this is the trick. So when low serum sodium or hyponatremia is corrected too rapidly by giving hypertonic saline, there is not enough time for the brain cells to adjust to the new environment as they cannot produce or synthesize osmolites in a short time. This will result in cells losing fluid, dry out, and eventually this leads to the breakdown of myelin. Common conditions where central pontine myelinolysis can occur includes refeeding patients with anorexia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder which is characterized by massive weight loss, and electrolyte imbalance. Correcting electrolyte imbalance in patients with psychogenic polydepsia, these are patients who drink too much water because of some psychological problem, patients on dialysis, and burn patients. These populations are more prone to develop hyponatremia because of their problems. So when correcting the electrolyte imbalance in these patients, we need to be careful so not to develop central pontine myelinolysis. This is a cross-section of the pons, and I just wanted to note that the location of the corticospinal tracts at the central part of the pons. Signs and symptoms of central pontine myelinolysis includes spastic quadriparesis. Spastic is coming from the word spasm because with upper motor neural lesion, the muscles become spastic and paralyzed. Quadri means all four limbs, so both upper and lower limbs are paralyzed. And paresis means weakness in contrast to plegia which means complete paralysis or complete loss of muscle action, which can also happen in central pontine myelinolysis. And this is all because of damage to the corticospinal tracts. Damage to the corticobulbar tracts is also what's called pseudobulbar palsy. The corticobulbar tracts are the fibers that supplies the cranial nerve nuclei. Pseudobulbar palsy means upper motor neural lesion of the cranial nerve nuclei. This is in contrast to bulbar palsy, which is lower motor neural lesion of the cranial nerve nuclei. This will result in facial weakness, dysphagia, which means difficulty in eating, dysarthria, which means difficulty in talking or phonation, and diplopia, which is double vision. Eventually, the condition will result in what's called locked-in syndrome, which is characterized by the complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles with the preservation of only the vertical eye movement and blinking. So everything in the body is paralyzed except the vertical eye movement, which is looking up and down and blinking. The patient cannot communicate verbally, even though they're conscious and not cognitively impaired. This is similar to someone who is waking up and sleep paralysis because they're waking up in the REM stage of sleep. You can read on the internet about a patient who wrote a book by just blinking their eye. So this denotes that these patients are completely conscious, they're completely conscious of their surroundings, 
They know everything around them, but unfortunately, they cannot talk, they cannot communicate. They only communicate through their eyes or through their blinking of their eyes. The diagnosis is mainly clinical through the signs and symptoms. MRI will show hyperintensity of the pulse. This is an MRI image that shows hyperintensity of the pulse region, which denotes central pontine myelinosis. Unfortunately, there is no cure for central pontine myelinosis. The management is only supportive. Care should be taken by not correcting the hyponatremia too rapidly, and this is the main goal of this entire lecture. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and see you next video.